I've got about an hour to kill before I gotta be at work, but I I have to go up there. And you'll you'll see exactly why in just a sec. It's so beautiful where I live. It just is. Let's go grab the mini two and go tackle some high altitude flying 12,000, 13,000 feet above sea level. It's not too windy up there because if it is, it's gonna be colder than I expected. I didn't bring any gloves. Thought I had a soda, but I left this in overnight, and that's solid rock. So if you don't take things out of your car here at night, they're frozen. one of my favorite spots to stop. And let me show you why. Right there, right there, that's A Basin. That is one of my favorite ski resorts around here and I love flying here, especially when they're closed and capturing the east wall and just getting some really cool footage to share with everybody. But today, this isn't high enough, so we're gonna go up, up there, way up there, and we're gonna fly the Mini 2. This is Loveland Pass, where I brought Kelly and Ed and we brought the Mini 1. And it was crazy windy and snowy that day and, well, you've seen the video. Go down, go down, go down, go down, go down. Today it looks like it's not really windy at all, so we are in luck to really test the Mini 2 at uh, really high altitudes. So if you thought I was going up like, well, 13,000 feet from sea level, well, you're, you're right, but I'm not taking off from sea level and then going up to 13,000 feet. I'm parking here at 12,000 feet, and then we're going up the mountain ridge, maybe 50 to 100 feet above it, as we climb to over 13,000 feet. This drone says that it's rated to be able to go over eight, 9,000 feet. The Mini 1 is not. I am still a little nervous. Hopefully it can go up, and I don't have to climb up and go get it. I was wrong. It is actually windy and thank God I found my gloves. I talked all about these gloves in this video up here. If you're looking for a pair of gloves to work with your touch screen, I highly, highly recommend these Burton gloves that are a snowboard company, but they work amazing for your drone stuff. It's a lot windier than I thought it was going to be, so I'm, I'm pretty glad that I have my mask with me because it's it's the first time I've been outside and happy to have it because it's keeping my face warm. I have no idea how this is going to actually work out because the winds are gusty. It's not as gusty as that video I did the other day, you know, in the car there, where it was snowing and the winds are blowing at 55 miles per hour. It's definitely not that that bad. It might be if we went up, but we're not going to go up very high. We're just going to follow this ridge line and head up to that 13,000 mile point and. Fingers crossed, I'm not hiking up there to go retrieve the drone. This spot you see behind me, this is where we came when I did that Skydio 2 video where it was tracking the snowboarding when I first got it. And I was still learning the beacon, so I had issues with it. There's been a lot of firmware updates on the Skydio 2. And this is where I'm gonna be coming back. As you can see behind me right now, the coverage of snow, just we're not getting enough coverage. So I cannot do that Skydio 2 snowboarding video quite yet. I am gonna do it, so make sure if you're into the Skydio 2 and tracking drones, stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification so when I am able to make it, you don't miss that video because it's gonna be really sick. We're gonna go ahead and get this drone up in the air because it's a little windy and that wind chill is crazy and I didn't bring a coat. This is what I like so much. This is why I bought this drone even though I have all these other drones, is because this one is even more pocketable than the original Mavic Air 1. One thing that I hate about this drone is it constantly has me update the IMU. I've never had one of these Mavics need the IMU recalibrated almost every damn time I go somewhere new to fly. Does yours do that too? 
because mine does. We're getting everything set up. We're turning it all back on, hoping that the uh, IMU calibration worked. I sort of wish that I had like uh, one of those smart controllers because the uh, brightness on those smart controllers is so much brighter. We're getting the high altitude fly with caution warning. Besides that, everything looks good. Because the wind has kicked up so much, we're gonna just try and stay sort of low to the ground and climb up to that 13,000 feet. Start recording. <laughs> We don't have HDR on. I just forgot I'm not flying my Mavic Air 2. I'm sitting there looking through all the settings, trying to find the HDR video. There is no HDR video. Let's take off. We got a warning. The altitude is too high for this to fly. Continuing may result in aircraft performance restrictions or safety hazards. Blah, 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 blah. I'm supposed to be able to go high. Let's see. All right. Whoa. All right, little guy. You gotta remember, we got no sensors. So let's, uh, it's doing okay. Way better than whatever, whoa! Then, uh, we had Ed and him. Why is it coming backwards towards me? All right, so we're gonna point it over there. We're recording, 60 frames a second. Let me move this camera. Let's go see what we can capture. So far, so good. I can see it right there, it's just staying steady. We're gonna go up and just start climbing that path just in case I lose it. Then I will have to uh, climb over there and get it. Woo! We're just gonna follow that path line right there. And we're in cinema mode, believe it or not. It's actually going pretty damn fast for being in cinema mode. And another warning sign, aircraft temperature too low. It's just not having a good time right now, but it is doing it. We are 225, so we're like at uh, probably 12,500 feet, something like that. It's hard to see my screen. I'm just gonna fly it and we'll just, let's just watch some footage, check it out. just hit the maximum flight altitude, 1,600 feet. We're barely above the mountain, so we're still legal, but we're in a cloud. So we're gonna try and point it back over towards us and see if we can uh, hopefully get back to us. Now you gotta remember to like bring the levels down because if you stay 1,600 feet above like your takeoff spot coming back down, then you're breaking some rules. This wind is a little cold, so hopefully we get this back and not climb that ridge line. That would be great. I am so impressed with this little Mini 2 drone. I was not expecting to have no issues like this. I mean, it gave me some warnings, but it, uh, it's flying, absolutely fine. But look at this shot. It's just absolutely gorgeous. When you're out flying for yourself and you're just taking pictures, you're not doing tests like this, make sure you change your gimbal around, look down, look up, switch it around, get a lot of different shots so when you edit your footage later, you can like really mix it up and make it look cool. I'm so impressed because this thing just totally killed over 13,000 feet above sea level. It is so cold and windy right now. I don't know if you can even hear me because the wind on this thing killing it. It's like right there 250 feet with all this wind that you know is crazy up there absolutely just killing it so if you're considering getting a mavic mini 2 i'm telling you this thing dji knocked it out of the park with this
more thing let me show you before we go if you're in a place where you can't really set your drone down to take it off you can hold both thumbsticks together start the props and just sort of toss it and it takes off on its own and hand catching is just that easy start the props throw it up there it is land it pull down on the stick and do a little bouncy and that's it so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video now that you know the Mavic Mini 2 is a beast highly recommended if you haven't already bought a Christmas gift for yourself I'd pick one of these up in a heartbeat if you're looking to get into droning I mean check out this footage I'm so impressed here why are you still here but since you are remember that I do sell merch down in the description so if you want to help support the channel and you want to get your own custom merch shirt with you know my own art on it because if you're not familiar with the channel yet I'm an artist that's what I do tattoo for a living all this stuff you see behind me all my art this is my shop summoning tattoo up in Silverthorne Colorado so if you're ever up in the area and you want to get tattooed hit me up if you want to see more tattoo stuff on the channel, let me know in the description. You made it this far, so say something in the description. Wait, description? No. Comments, man. Comments, comments, comments. Oh, say description. It's not the description. Ah. All right, later, guys.